Good morning, everyone. First and foremost, we do have free energy. Stop paying your energy bill. No more, no more bills to pay. We have free energy. We invented a perpetual motion machine that would generate electricity forever. One thing, take a look at this video first. Putting out more when I'm putting in. So the, the trick is to get that smaller. I just had that. I just I want to know if I could make you know electricity with it and, and, and it does work perfectly. It works. If I would have a high RPM to be able to spin that really high, I would probably get about 5,000 volts. 5,000 volts, and it will be a high frequency volt. And I have three legs who's making voltage, so I have choice. This is another video of free energy. Check this out. Et qui permet d'accélérer. And we have another one. This one. Take a look. This is actually the best one. This is the, the last one. Rises 3.267 inches per revolution. We'll be converting that into foot pounds. The foot pounds into horsepower and the horsepower into watts, which will be the motor's output power. We'll so, how was the, how was it? Pretty cool, right? Sounds so easy to make. Everybody made free energy on YouTube. Everybody's overproducing energy. So you have like a small input and you have like a greater output. So after watching all these videos, I decided to make one my own. And it's very, very simple. It does not require any coils, Bedini generators, so many magnets and uh, such a big motor. I've got something even simpler than that. I've got my 3.7 volts lithium battery. This is a very common battery you find everywhere including your laptop battery. This is what Tesla cars uses to power their, their, their cars. So it's a very common at 3.7 volts. We're actually, this guy here, it's a small 1.5 volts motor. This one, it's 120 volts motor. I don't know if you can see that. So for instance, if you apply some energy to this motor, it will start spinning. It will start spinning. So to the other side, if you make it spin, it will produce and electricity. So this is not even brushless, it's a normal motor. This has got so much friction, to be honest with you, including the gearing. However, my machine, it pulls about 300% electricity. I know you're skeptical, but I'm going to prove it and there is no video editing. Let me show it to you. We have battery, we have a switch, and our generator. I've got my voltage meter or multimeter whatever you want to call it and let's go plug it i would like to remember that to recall there are no tricks there are no extra battery also because for the amount of energy i'm going to pull out this device it would be quite impossible to hide anything so let's go ahead and test it so that's what everybody does online and that's what i'm going to do i'm going to test the device check this out I've got my meter right here on DC volt, right there. I got 3.7 volt input. Let's see how much we got out of it. We got 44, 43 volts out of this guy. There are no tricks. There are no tricks. No tricks. I'm pulling 46 volts out of 42, 40, it's kind of, yeah, out of a 3.7 volt battery. Check this out, it's spinning quite fast. Okay, it's minus because I have to reverse it. But that's what we're getting here, okay? Let's stop it for a second. Let's try one more time and I'm going to 
show you that there are no tricks. Okay, this is our device. Input 3.7 volt lithium batteries, output 45 volts, 300 or more than 300% efficiency. This is not perpetual motion, this is over unity. This is over unity. I would like to remember that if there is any trick or hidden battery, there is no way you can attach a 45 volts battery in here. So it must be a very quite big battery to be 45 volts. So let's try one more time. Actually 48 volts, 47. This is my over unity machine. Look at that one. So now, let's turn off for a second. Now, if you still don't believe me, all right, I'm going to attach a load over here. Okay, it's an open circle. Someone says 45 volts, it will drop. Sure. I'm going to attach a load. I'm not going to attach a simple LED, a light or whatever. I'm not going to attach two LEDs. I'm not going to attach three LEDs. I'm going to attach, well, like a four LEDs. And notice that they're all in series, not even in parallel. So, <laughs> that three volts are all these guys. They need to multiply by four. In LED, common light, 2.5 to three volts. So, multiply by four. So, at least I'm pulling 12 volts out of it, for sure, with this with this system. Check this out. I'm gonna prove it, we have free energy. You don't believe me, too bad for you. All right, we've got our LEDs here, turn it on. Check this out. And they're pretty bright too. <laughs> I'm pulling at least 12 volts out of this guy, out of 3.7 volt battery there are no tricks guys there are not it's not video editing i don't know how to video edit there are no tricks and they're pretty bright too so now if you know what is my channel about you realize that this is a hoax this is pure plan bullcrap bullshit this stuff it doesn't work neither like those guys they try to prove we have free energy because you can patent this you can patent whatever you want you can patent it as a free energy generator but you can patent it so someone will try to replicate it as to pay i got my patent pending on it uh you guys can't believe in every youtube uh, video you watch and uh I'm not trying to prove that we eventually will have end up having free energy in the future, but this kind of stuff, it will never work. It's been tested and retested as many times as you want. I understand you guys don't have any knowledge in, uh, you know, electronic engineering. Uh, you don't have to be an electronic engineer to know the basic of electronics and physics. It takes really like a simple Holmes law to realize that this is, this is a fake. Now you wonder why you have more voltage out of it, out of your 3.7 volt battery. It's pretty simple. You don't measure energy in terms of voltage. You don't measure energy in terms of ampere or current. You measure, in this case, in an electrical circle, you measure in terms of watts. So the overall energy output you need. Which means that it is true that I'm pulling 45 volts out of a 3.7 volt battery. But we need to consider this battery is also 2.2 amps. So that pulls up it wattage <laughs> is the volt <laughs> multiplied by the ampere. So this battery over here is about 10 watts of energy. So you're sucking about 10 watts of energy out of this battery. In order to balance the circuit, okay, you end up having 40 volts, 
but you end up with a very, very, very little tiny amount of amps in the order of 0 0.0001, 10, whatever you want, in order to balance the 10 watts. You still have 10 watts out of this. You just have more volts, but lower amps. There is no way in physics you can raise volt and amps at the same time. One, it can go up, and the other one goes down. One, it goes down, the other one, it goes up. And I tell you more, if I'm pulling 10 watts out of this system, I'm going to end up having perpetual motion. If, I, if my input is 10 watts and I receive 10 watts, that's still perpetual motion. It means that I can self-feed my machine. And this will never work. We can even try. There we go. Self-feeding the machine. By pulling one of these things out, this machine, it will never work. Check this out. It doesn't work. It doesn't even start. And you're like, what a second, you have like 40 volts, you know, pull out of that machine. How come we cannot feed a 1.5 volt motor? Because we have almost zero amps. Faraday says that we actually we can have a voltage without even current. So you can have all the voltage you want. You can have 10,000 volts, 20,000 volts with zero current. Zero. So, Zero energy, <laughs> zero energy, no perpetual motion. These guys are proving they actually not only perpetual motion, they have over unity. And I'm like, mm, uh, oh my goodness. When I've been to school, I went to school, I'm an engineer, but for all those people that actually don't know the basic of, of engineering, they should definitely take a class or at least be a little bit skeptical. Uh, I would like to see these people actually stop paying really their energy bill, then I believe them. This is my over unity generator. You don't need so many coils. You don't need so many magnets, because even in magnets there is some friction. And even if that friction is 0 0.0000001%, you still have some friction. It's not perpetual motion. But wait a second. That one's a brushless motor the other guy made. Sure, <laughs> we still have gravity. They push the axle <laughs> downwards. <laughs> we still have friction by heat, even if they're not touching. Have you tried to, <laughs> to get two strong man and uh, pulling aside of each other? They will generate heat. Yes, a coil generates heat. That's a loss. It can be 0.0000000001%. It's not perpetual motion. Guess what? These guys are trying to prove that they have over unity, not just perpetual motion, even over unity. Uh, guess what? I proved I've got my over unit over here. <laughs> 3.745 volts to the other side. Guess what? It's definitely less than 10 watts, my output. By putting some lights, just like these guys, it doesn't mean anything. Okay, I'm using 12 volts, <laughs> but I'm using like barely 0.2 milliamps, barely. So that makes up not even for six watts <laughs> of energy. <laughs> there is no way I can make for 10 watts of energy of this battery. This battery is very energy dense battery. I can even pull 5,000 volts out of it. My current will be even lower. All right, if you have any questions, <laughs> if you think that I'm, this system is not reliable and good proof, please email me, I'm gonna make another one. And uh, if you have any requests of debunking any video on YouTube, uh, please subscribe and uh, just, you know, send me, let me know, and I will make a new video to debunk any video you want within 44 hours or 48 hours. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.